Okay, here we are. We bought a zoo unboxing for Blu-ray. Now this is Blu-ray, DVD, and digital. This is the example I wanted to make, a huge example of what they used to do before, which was downright stupid. See how they used to use a third disc? That was the only way you could get it on your computer. Um, supposedly the disc, the, um, the movie downloaded off the disc into your um, iTunes or whatever, but then as time went on, you could just download it through the cloud. All you needed was the code. Regardless, it doesn't work without having a computer. Um, I'm not going to even try to do it, even though it probably would work, because um, I got Titanic to work through through on the, one of the discs in the computer, but th I'm not going to bother. I mean, the expiration date is so old on here anyways. It's, two, it's a 2011 movie, so um, who knows? Well, let's look. See, the expiration date is... Um, doesn't even say anything about an expiration date. Well, you know what? People can have it if they want it, but they need the disc in order to activate it, so I, don't, I fail to see the point. All right, look at this. Excellent. Excellent shape. Um, here's the DVD thing. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Like, we really care, right? When you have the, the Blu-ray's intact, you don't really care what the DVD looks like. The digital copy. Doesn't look like anyone touched that for the most part either. So, um, that's that. And if you're wondering why it's all fidgety, it's because um, one of the plastic pieces broke in the spindles. This is the worst idea of ever having one of these, but you only need one of them to be intact. Alright, that's it. Um, I didn't even tell you the rating or anything. This is rated PG, and it's about 124 minutes, and that's it. And it's a 50 gig dual layer. Alright, bye bye.